Hello guys, Lawrence Wayne here, and if you can read the YouTube's video title, you'll know that I have pretty, something pretty awesome to show you. An on-screen keyboard. Now this works kind of like a phone keyboard, you tap the little buttons and text appears. Now, it's kind of hard to see what I'm actually typing, so... But these buttons actually light up, like... Turn red, you push them. And there's also a shift button, which works when you tap it, all the letters go capitals. And then you tap a letter, and all the letters go back to lowercase. And you also have the numbers, if you push shift, you've got all the, well, some of the fancy characters. Then push shift again, it turns green, which is caps lock mode. So you can then type stuff, and it'll be in capital letters. You can go back to here, and type normally. And then Tap backspace to delete stuff, hold in backspace to delete everything. And that little slash N button is enter. It's the programming icon for enter. I've, it's just the easier way than writing enter in that tiny little button. But it's besides it being slightly to the right, this row, because usually this row's this middle row of characters is supposed to be half a block to the right. Despite that, it's actually still pretty easy to type on this, which I found quite surprising because I thought my fingers can be jumping between all the letters all the time. Then I I'm always pushing the wrong one, but it turns out you get pretty used to that pretty quickly. So I'll just, for example, write my name. So you get pretty used to that quite quickly. There's numbers that also work. Some special characters. Star. And how this actually made is this consists of two arrays. An array in lowercase version and an uppercase version. So this for example is the lowercase the uppercase and you can actually change this pretty easily in the code so it's a program memory array and it renders it to a little grid except for the last line so you can actually just change these two arrays and then you can have a Belgium or European keyboard or some other foreign keyboard type that isn't a QWERTY you could do that ABC keyboard alphabetical order that I really hate devices that have that. It's not the greatest keyboard, it doesn't have all the characters you can use, you have all the characters in the alphabet, but for example you don't have that little squiggly line, or the backs, or the slash is the other way around, you only have this slash, and um, a whole lot of other characters too. But I can just swap these top characters for some more useful characters, like I have over here already. Put minus and plus over there. And I'm probably going to change dollars and percent as well. Which, that's almost it for the keyboard. Some of you also wanted to see the what the interface was going to look like, the main menu. So here it is. I made the enter button open this menu. Enter button can do other stuff as well course. And pushing to say apps opens a little sub menu. Oh, it's so hard to see in this the phone screen for you. This very faint little rectangle, that's where the pop-up menu is going to be. And then of course pushing the edit button opens the file manager. Where you can browse through folders is the usual version. Oops. Like so. For some reason it quickly closes now. Well, I know the reason. Because I don't make it wait for a touch. But that's it for all the stuff that's happened now. I just recently figured out a glitch in my keyboard. It's this quick one. If you push, you type letters, then you hold in backspace, 
and then you tap backspace, this happens. And it's a simple fix. I just need to make sure that you don't push backspace when you've cleared everything again. But I have no idea why it turns the screen white. It's not supposed to have anything to do with that. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you like the new update and interface. And what the keyboard, how the keyboard looks. And such. Bye.